right, Matt. Uh, it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's- I we got my get uh, back in time. Got my footy pajamas. Oh, I got oh. my cereal, and uh, yeah, it's time to watch some Saturday morning cartoons. Hell yeah! Yep. Oh, Aku, the shape shifting master of darkness. <laughs> oh God, I love this show. So yeah, I, it looks like they just like directly ripped the four by three intro to Samurai Jack and put it in this video game. Um, yeah, this is Samurai Jack, the new Samurai Jack game. I still have not watched Samurai Jack uh, really? ever in my life. Yep. Huh. Uh, All right. I've seen a lot of the other stuff, but not this one. It's a good show. It's like legitimately one of the better American-made cartoons from the uh, like early 2000s. Okay. Um, oh, look at that. Yep. Oh, it's so pretty. You haven't even seen it. You've, you haven't seen this part yet as if you just let it sit I- here for a few minutes. <laughs> Uh, and then oh, it yeah. goes. Come on, game. Oops. Come on, game. Stop making me Come look on. foolish. Come on. Come on. Come on, you cuck. Come on. Um. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Fancy. There's a there's like oh, a big yeah. spiral over there and shit. Everything's on fire. The Boob uh, Mountains, Mount Boobatron is no, on fire. Not Mount Boobatron. Yeah. Oh uh, no. Um. Yeah. They. Uh. Uh. This was. This really was a really oh, special one. show. I'm really... Oh, that's... Oh, they're going through this. Okay, I see what they're doing. They're doing a thing. Yep. <laughs> so I have not actually played this yet. Um, oh, shit. But yeah, uh, it came out last week. Everybody was saying it was good stuff. Kind of looked at the stuff that came out today, and I was like, yeah, yeah, man. Let's play that Samurai Jack game. Seems like it'll yeah. be all right. So that's yeah. what we're going to do. I'm excited. Oh, oh, oh. Well, this is just like straight up the show. Can I just watch uh, the show? Uh, oh, this is the ending of the show. Well, spoiler alert, video this game. This is a huge spoiler. <laughs> this is the end of the series. Well, you know, apparently I should have spent like in the last, uh, some part of the last, what, two decades actually watching this show instead of sleeping on it, you know. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck is happening? Uh-oh. No, and he never will be. Oh, shit, he's uh, a Highlander. Not- yeah. Fuck no, you, Dad. Yes, I am. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> up, up. What is... Okay, um, low-key fuck this. Like... What? Because this is the end of the show. Okay. Well, uh, you know, again, I, I don't get the impression that, like, uh, this doesn't seem like it was marketed to be, like... Have you never watched Samurai Jack before? Well, then check out this new video game that we just put out. I mean, this is fan service for people that have watched the show, right? Like, I guess it's just, it's just, it's weird because, like, I don't know. I've never seen a franchise do this. Oh, I have. I feel like I have. I feel like it happens a lot of times in anime games or in licensed games where they're just like, <sighs> oh, yep. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, or maybe it's something different. Ah. Uh, okay. Back to the black and white spiral dimension. Okay. There's so much that I am like... You're so ah, perturbed, ah, Matt. You're so perturbed. I am very perturbed. Because this is like a multiple years worth of storytelling. They just blown in the first like five minutes. Right. But I mean, like, again, this is going to be for people who have watched the... Who have already watched the show. Like, this is not a... This is not an onboarding point. For somebody who's never seen this this okay. like twenty year old show, uh, I I suppose I suppose I just feel like uh, I feel like they could have done something a little differently here. Minds. I'm back in the past. I mean, again, but this is okay. This is sure, yeah. sure, 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 sure. I just. I just feel like okay. You know what? It's fine. 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 I don't agree with that storytelling idea, but. But I saved you in the future. Uh oh. Well, help him, dickhead. I must put an end to this man. Is that the snarf? Is that the snarf of this show? Because if it's the snarf of the show, I'm gonna let him get killed. I don't wanna. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm anti-snarf. I actually kinda... watched a episode of that that new Thundercats show, and uh-huh. uh, like snarf didn't talk at all, and I was like, oh, well, this is an improvement. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Even the, the kind of doofy new Thundercats, he doesn't talk. 
Yeah, no, that, that was what I said. I, I watched oh, oh, okay. an episode of the, the Doofy New Thundercats because uh, I was like, oh, yeah, oh, that yeah. came out, and I never watched it. Uh, can I watch it? And the internet was like, yes, here's an episode. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, that was stupid and not for me, but, like, it's fine. It's just stupid. I was so. surprised at how, how good the animation was for such, like, a, oh. a goofy kids show. Yeah. Um, oh, my God. This, he's so twitchy. Oh, it, so goddamn twitchy. He's a little... It looks like it's a little, not squirrely, but just a little oversensitive. Um, okay, but can you can you can you uh, tap? Can you swipe down on the uh, touchpad to make him sheathe his sword all cool? Uh, this is on the Xbox uh, One, so there is no touchpad. <laughs> okay, but what about his where's his flute? Uh, and, I don't, and where's his mask? Uh, I don't know. And I, what, when is he gonna? Uh, this is a different. That's a different game, Matt. That's the, a different game. Not, but where's all the blood? We were, we're we've, Jeff. We've moved way past that. We've moved past Ghost of Tsushima. Everybody's I beaten it already. About, it's I can't fine. just talk about Man Eater and Ghost of Tsushima in an endless cycle. No, I, I, well, I don't know. I mean, I talk about nothing but Metal Gear and Dark, Dark Souls, so I was uh -huh. gonna say that would be boring, but you know, whatever. Use skill fire to learn and upgrade <laughs> skills. Some advanced skills require bushido and items to unlock. Okay. Uh, let's see, magic sword and samurai fist. Okay, I feel like I prefer the sword, but uh, skills. Oh, sure. Spiritual skills, physical skills, combat skills. Okay. Uh, that's 500 skill points. Oh, it's a parry. Oh, it is Dark Souls. Okay, well, that's good. It's good to see that everything is Dark Souls. Uh, you press the B button to block, and there's a parry move. That makes it Dark Souls. So. Oh, there you go. Of yeah. course, of mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, Dark Jack. Jack Souls. Press X and Y to deliver combos. Yeah, no, man, I already got that shit. See, I'm, I'm all good all right. with that. Uh, yeah, yeah. You just played a video game. What are these dumb bugs? What is this the bug future? Is this the future where all the bugs took over? Like, what's what's canonically happening? It's, Are they robot bugs? See, this is the thing that I kind of take issue with, is that it shows you a bunch of out-of-context shit from, like, the last episode of the show. Sure. And then it goes back as though it's doing, like, a Samurai Jack's greatest hits thing, because this is, like, one of the first episodes when, um... Uh, apparently Dumb. in the future, Story. dogs evolved to the point where they could talk and walk on their hind legs. Uh-huh. And... Uh, Aku has enslaved a bunch of them to mine these like jewels he uses as an energy source, and he has these robot oh. beetle drones uh -huh. that he uses to hunt uh, the jackening. Jack to the jackening. Oh wait, that's like okay, lock on. Okay, um, okay. Well, so wait a minute. If it starts at the end and then it goes all the way back to the first episode, and then you're going to end up playing through the entire franchise, kind of like in order. I feel like that's fine. I guess um, it just it's just an odd choice for me personally because this show in order for the ending to in order for the ending to have that kind of resonance that it did you really had to have like watched it and been invested in it which is I guess it's just an odd choice. To well, like... I mean, you know, we've, how many times have, we've seen a lot of things over the course of the years where it's like they show you the end and you have no context and you're like, what? And then you go and you play through the entire game. And then once you get back to the part where you started, then you've got the proper context. And you're like, oh, I get it now. Cool. But then for people who already have the context, then they don't, you know, they, they already knew the context. So I don't know. I mean, I... I I don't know. I just feel like you're very, very angry at this uh, this game for I, for doing this thing. Because the thing is that for me, it's not a spoiler. I don't know anything. Like uh, okay, okay, fair, fair enough. Fair. I, I, I can, I will acquiesce to this point. I just, for <laughs> me, the ending of Samurai Jack really affected me. I mean, I had some small problem. I had some problems with it, but for me, it was like, oh my god, they took the ending in a direction I did not expect them to take, and it was really emotionally <laughs> effective, especially for someone like me, who was in high school when this came out. Yeah. So, that's why I'm like, meh. But Actually, you know what? I uh, this controls really, really well. Uh, okay, good. Well, that's, you know, that's nice to hear. Uh, like I love, I like the way that when you when you uh, when you kind of go in the same direction for a little bit of time, like he runs faster. Uh, so far, I mean, the thing is, okay. So here's the here's the real question, Matt. Is um, there all, most of the licensed games that we've seen over the last few years are just mm -hmm. total and complete garbage shit? Like they're total, oh, sure. they're total dick. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. One hundred percent dick. Um, <laughs> so. 
like a lot of them are full grade A penis. Um, mm. uh, spiritual skills. This is the Kiai attack gauge. Deliver a Kiai attack. Kiai. I guess is that what That's he says. Word. Uh, I, uh, um, uh, physical oh, okay. skills. Uh, upgrade trees. Okay, and then I got the. So he's gonna get different weapons. So now I have the ability to go like fucking brah, Super Saiyan time. What's oh, up, you dumb bug? Oh, there you put go. Down, put up down. Watch it. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Jump it. 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 Yeah. Um, they're all. They're all. You dumb beetles. You never sent a beetle to do the job of like a snake or I don't know, like a small like rabbit or something, because uh, they suck at this. Uh, 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 it's this does look like a lot of fun. Is this on PlayStation Three? Uh, four? <laughs> this is only on PlayStation Three. It's on Xbox Obviously. One, PC, and PS Vita, and those are the only platforms it's on. Oh at this yes, uh, and um, uh, <laughs> on the Turbo Graphics. Uh, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's on the PS4. I'm pretty sure it was like it's not. A, it's also not a full price game. It's like 35 bucks oh. or something like that. Give me that. This looks like Give it would that. be a good uh, uh, Switch go. game. Ooh. Um, Corrupted Emperor's Kimon, the golden friendly crest have been corrupted by. Okay, well, okay, I didn't uh, need to all read right, that. Well, okay, go fuck yourself then. Um, um, but so I, uh, my question though is like, is this like what was the last really good licensed game that came out? Like, what was the last really really good? game that was based on a property that came out. Oh, look, it's fucking... Oh, look at him. That's yeah. the guy from Rocky and Bullwinkle. He takes he, Sherman on a... Kind of looks like that, doesn't he? Uh, thanks for your help. Rothschild, what's happening? I don't really know. I guess they... Um, <clears throat> Panashi. I'm not seeing it, but I did see a Scotsman. Okay. The Scotsman, perhaps... Oh, the Scotsman? More. Do uh, watch out. He looks a bit strange. Hot water. Oh. This restores a health. Okay. Okay. Thank you for uh, huh. hot water, I guess. It's was supposed I, to be tea, but all right. Was I unable um, to do that myself? Was I unable to conjure hot water from, like, the air? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. All right, keep going. Okay, so the Scotsman is around here. That's good to know. Brain weapon yeah, times. Yeah, I... Oh, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I'm... This does look like fun. I just, I personally wish they had gone oh. in a slightly different direction. I mean, I, I was thinking, I was, I was thinking about uh, various license game recently. I mean, you know, Rocksteady sort of was were the kings for a while there with um, Batman. Uh, but it, that's not really, it, that's not really license. I mean, I guess Batman is like a licensed property, but like it wasn't based on like Arkham Asylum wasn't based on like a show right like a movie or a tv show i don't know i feel like the line gets really blurred these days you uh know? are you thinking so you're talking about something that's based on a very very specific tv show or well something that is based on a show or a movie not just like a character you know mm -hmm. but like because this is it's not like samurai jack was like oh it was a comic book and then it was you know uh oh shit okay all right um I mean, uh, the thing is that all the licensed games, I mean, it used to be that they were garbage because you had to pay a lot of money for them. Right. Uh, and then they were garbage because they were all phone games. Uh, and mm -hmm. then they were garbage because all they were all anime and they were all arena brawlers when they didn't need to be. Uh, right. Like, can you imagine if there was, you know, like, uh, I don't know, a uh, uh, Cowboy Bebop game that controlled... It was like a third-person action game where you got to, like, you know, run around. Run around a spike. Yeah, kick a bunch of ass, right? Instead of having every single anime game be the same stupid arena brawler bullshit. I mean, like, can you imagine if every single, like, Western movie-based game property was, like, a Dynasty Warriors game? Like, if they only made... Ooh, single-edged throwable dagger. Uh, like, if they only made uh, ranged weapons could be equipped from the ranged weapons tab. Okay. All right. Do it. Yeah. No, it's cool. Um, All right. Yeah. Like if they only... Oh, shit. If they only ever made... Um, if they were only one genre of game, right? Like, that's the thing that always gets to sure. me is the fact that arena fighting is, like, its own genre. So it's, like, all of the licensed games for anime are the same kind of game, just executed slightly differently. So... Yeah. I, I No, I, I get that. I'm just... I'm trying to think of some other examples. Um... 
I don't think there really uh, are that many. I mean, most of the time uh, these days when, you, when you're basing something off of a property, well, first off, I mean, I guess like, may, see, but even uh, like the Avengers game isn't the Avengers movie. It's like part the mm. Avengers movie and part like just the Avengers. So, I mean, I'm thinking about things like um, Transformers Devastation by, uh, um, Oh, who is that developer? The Bayonetta developers. Um, oh, Platinum? Yeah, Platinum did that Transformers game, which was not really based on any specific Transformers property except for, like, kind of the Generation 1 stuff. Yeah. Um, but then you've got stuff like uh, um, Transformers Fall of Cybertron, which is sort of a sort of a kickoff point itself for a new section of the franchise, not really based on anything beforehand. I just, I feel like that's kind of what, what happened is that that was where the transition was. Cause even this, while this is based on the show, this didn't happen in the show. Jack did not suddenly get interrupted mid time tunnel and sent to a sent back to relive his old adventures. Um, this is sort of a spin-off series of events that may or may not be canon. No, I know. I mean, I, I get that. I guess it's just that, like, I, uh, for me, the the distinction is a little bit clearer in the fact that it's like, if there was a Transformers licensed game, it would be like the Transformers from the movie, from like the Michael Bay movie, right? Like they would look like they mm -hmm. were in the Michael Bay movie type of thing. Um, mm -hmm. So that's kind of kind of what they did. Um, What's that? No, I mean, I, I... Okay, what's this? Left bumper while moving to slide and guard enemy assaults. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I for me, the, the delineation is a little bit clearer because um, uh, I've just seen so many of those types of games that I I don't know that I would... In, in, like High Moon, the High Moon Transformers or the uh, Rock City Batman, um, like I don't know that I would really count those in there because they appear to be based on the character but not really on the property but like this is definitely based on the property even if something different has happened i mean this is very clearly not like a reimagining of the character in fact as as you're telling me these are these are actual plot points just put into a different order than they happen in the show it seems a lot this seems a lot more closely hewn to the show than say the high moon uh transformers games were to like the michael mm. bay transformers movies right um well, i just i just feel like that i personally feel like the definition has gotten really uh vague uh be, especially because oh it's oh this fucking guy who's this fucking guy he's the samurai oh okay he's the samurai okay uh, he's Oh, he's that is one up. of the best episodes in the show. Is is when he meets this guy, um. <laughs> training, sword training, hammer training, spear training, club training, fist training. Oh my god! Uh, oh, so there is repair. We got sell, and then we got buy, water, haggis, potions, haggis. <laughs> Here's a re oh a sickle you could throw at enemies. Okay. Sure. Give me some shurikens or give me some of the throwing knives. That's fine. It's weird because like, okay, now I'm like, I'm really confused as to when and where this is all supposed to be taking place because he didn't meet that guy until like season two or three. Uh huh. Um, show is weird. This game is weird. It's, 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 it's messing with my head a little bit. Uh, it looks really fun though, like to play. It's very smooth. I, I mean, it, for that. it controls very, very well. Uh, I just yeah. don't know where I'm supposed to actually go. I guess up here where they they showed me this thing getting knocked down. I wonder if these are mm -hmm. like uh, checkpoints, these little swirly doos. I wonder. I'm not sure what that's about. Uh oh. Who's this? This is going to be. Oh, well, it's Samurai Jack, obviously. Um... Oh, is that why they call the show Samurai Jack? That's. J oh! I get it now. Are I you get it. kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, something's something's about to go down. Oh shit! It's uh, it's a big fat guy. It's fat the bastard. Scotsman. Why is fat bastard in this game? That's weird. <laughs> Does he fat bastard? It does sound like fat bastard. A little bit, yeah. Oh, uh oh, oh, he's got an Aku thingy. He's been he's being mind controlled. Oh, son of a bitch! I will cut it right off his face.
He's like uh, 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 he's like one of the only he's one of the only swordsmen who could stand toe to toe with Jack. Um, okay. They both have they are like he's like one of the only people who also has a magic sword. Okay. Well, yeah. I played Dark Souls one time. I know what a boss fight's <laughs> all about. Just once, huh? You parry and then you fucking dodge and then you go around that guy and then you go. The parrying is actually easy to do. Uh, I wonder if it gets okay. harder later. Here, just do this, motherfucker. Let's fucking do all this crazy bullshit. There you go. Okay, spammo, and then take a knife. Ha ha. Ooh ah. Uh oh. Ooh ah. Dodge parry spin. I think he's doing something. Oh shit! Okay, he's got some kind of a cool power. Aku. He's on fire. You should probably like duck down in the swamp for a second and like not be on oh, fire your anymore. Shirt, your, your shirt's all ripped. Yeah, it's because I took like I'm below half health, I guess. Yeah, that's definitely from the show. Oh shit! I, okay. I, I really liked that in the show um, because, but before they did the Adult Swim revival, uh, Jack couldn't like you know. There couldn't be any blood, so Jack would, like, get covered in robot oil. Uh-huh. <laughs> it was very weird. God damn it. Fucking lock off. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's real mad and shit now. All right, he turned there all Super Saiyan. Okay. Uh, can I use that water? <laughs> yeah. Okay, there we go. Use the water. All right. Oh, there you go. Now your hair, you put your hair back up. All right. Oh, well, he exploded. That was. Okay. Is he wearing a seatbelt? Is that a seatbelt? I don't know. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> what are you, Jack? That's not how He's things kind of work. Poking it, yeah. Oh, what happened? Uh, you're fat. Mm. That's what happened. <laughs> You're a large man. There's a really good episode where there's a really good episode where he goes to help the Scotsman in his own homeland, and it's this—it's just a bunch of jokes about Scottish people. Um, <laughs> okay. Were they not allowed to put uh, nips on Jack until until they, the, the fifth season or whatever? If he had nips in the original show. Oh, was it the time travel that tipped you off there, Jack? Uh oh. Okay. All right. Oh. That shouldn't take that much, but. Oh. I mean, you know, it seemed like overkill to me, oh. but oh, what's going on? What? Oh, we're trapped in like Superman prison. Shit. Oh no! I'm gonna go spinning through space. Okay. Ooh. Uh, no continues. Got okay. Got a bunch of money. Cool. Yeah, all right. Rothschild appears in different stages, and will always have items or helpful information. Okie dokie. Uh, press up, upper, and then Y to counter. Oh, that might have been. I might have been doing the counter wrong. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Is this uh? Is this Mustafar or uh? Mustafar. Oh, what's what's that over there, Jack? Go go get that thing. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna turn around immediately and go get that thing. What? Look out behind you! It's that one oh. guy. Oh, it's uh, Jack. Where? Oh. Oh. Uh huh. I do not understand I, this. Yeah, I don't recognize that thing. I don't really understand it either, Jack. It's fine. Haha! <laughs> -ha. Jump up ah. in the air and chop him. I think the reason I never watched this show is because he seems goofy as fuck. Uh, he is. He is actually pretty goofy. Like sometimes he's more threatening, but for the most part, pretty goofy. Yeah. Oh, Here, that's weird. Things you know, or think you know, uh huh. May not be what they seem, and I 
control your fate. Well, that's a broad I deal. Yeah. Is through your death. <laughs> Does, is Aku, is he like an improv actor? Uh, <laughs> he really enunciates quite a bit. Like his whole mouth well, opens to just like a million, uh, like, like super, super wide. Okay. He was, uh, uh, he was originally voiced by uh, Mako, who who was a uh, um, relatively well-known voice actor. He was also the voice of Uncle Iroh in Avatar Last Airbender. Oh, okay. I can hear that. But, but he uh, he passed away, unfortunately. And uh, now Aku's... I don't know who the new voice actor is, but he, like... They basically found the person who could be as close to Mako as possible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and get whatever that thing yeah, was. go that get that thing. Here. Yeah. No, I, man, I hate that, when games do that. Put that They're thing like, behind me. Oh, wait. Oh. Is this a secret? No. Okay. Nope. It's a wall. All right. Uh, okay. Place between time. All right. This is some Dragon Ball Z. Uh, what's that one where where it's all like you play as the time police? That's what this oh, game is. Yeah. You're going to different like points. And, oh, these guys. I know these guys. They're adorable. Look at them. <laughs> I'm going to chop them up with a sword. God, I, 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 again, though, I feel really bad for Jack because that was literally the end of the show. And he's, um, and now he's like, he's, he went through all this trauma and like uh, personal, uh, a personal journey of self empowerment and stuff. Mm. And now, oh, hey, how'd you get here? Watch out for the laser arm. Yeah, the Celtic demons laser. Let's try a weapon with uh, greater reach than a sword. What? Like a gun? Oh, sure I can. Oh, I already have some disposable <laughs> bullshit. And that was a thing. Like at a certain point in the in the reboot, Jack like lost his sword. Not a reboot in the Adult Swim series. Jack lost his sword. He started using guns and shit. That's he cool. really lost his way. It, 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 was, it was pretty good. What? Fuck you guys. I, I, I oh, really. I gotta let. But that's the thing, like, okay, so this is for, is this for fans or isn't it? Because, like, as a fan of the show, I'm a little perturbed by some of the choices they've made. <laughs> I feel like the last thing you said was that you were, like, that the, since they started this game at the end, that you were, like, sad that the character development that happened over the course of the TV show to the guy, I, I, I don't know. I, I, it seems weird to me. I mean, I know that I'm a soulless robot with no nothing, but I'm like, well, yeah, but like they're gonna have to give that Samurai Jack guy something to do, or else it's gonna be kind of a boring game. Like, well, uh, I know. I just I feel I I don't know. Maybe this was all they could do if they wanted it to be technically canon. I guess there's worse solutions. Yeah. Uh, hey, Scotsman, why are you here? I think I he's thought I was between time. Okay. okay, I got the challenge. It's a true laddie. Uh, okay, wait. Oh no, that's all right. That's all right. Is that an evil demon nearby? Aki's magic came from the mountains behind the castle. Nothing will save me from off to go in safety. I must find my daughters. Oh, okay. Oh, this is after he started having daughters. What is happening? <laughs> Weapons. I just, oh, just fucking with my head. <laughs> I, I, I really, I'm really gonna need you to just like uh, not think so hard about this Samurai Jack video game that we're playing, Matt. I feel like the oh, 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 oh. Okay, so I can switch between. I can just be like uh, hitting stuff with my hands, or I can. No, nope, god damn it. Uh, equip. Ah, okay. So you can switch between. Okay, so now I got sticks. And I got swords, and I can even... Okay. Yeah, I'm digging. I'm digging. I'm digging All right. it. All right. Uh, no, I mean, it looks objectively really fun to play. Oh, that must be a health up or something. I think it's a checkpoint. Because uh, mm, I saw your health all came back. Yeah. So mm. let's see if... Uh, oh. uh, I think there was a... Oh. There's these little side-scrolling sections. Okay. Let's get some more of them. What? Up? Oh, who's this? Oh, it's one of the daughters. Oh, hello, Uncle Jack. Okay, take this, Haggis. Haggis. All right. Amazing. Cool. Oh. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Uh, okay, it looks great. 
Thank you. It's a, it's a weird show. It's this is a weird game. This is really weird. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm doing my best to let go of it. I just um, it's fun though. I'm. It looks like fun. I I do kind of want to go try this. I just have 700 other games I have to beat first. Um, have you beaten Ghost of Tsushima yet, man? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not allowed I, to have d j Samurai Jack dessert until you finish <laughs> your Ghost of Tsushima vegetables. You have to play the serious samurai game about the serious samurais that are serious before you can play uh -huh. the fun one about the fun samurais that are just having some fun. Oh, come Do on, dude. Having fun and fighting demons. Mantle, you son of a bitch. Um, okay. A lot of different collectibles, but I like the fact that apparently they're all going to be used for different power-ups. I guess. Uh, hmm. to a uh, mid-air double. Okay, double jump. Yeah, please. Thank you. Uh huh. That means we should be able to go. Boop, bop, boop, bop. All right, there we go. Got that jewel of Neptune for some reason. I don't know what reason it is. Can I? Can I? No. Okay. I want whatever that thing is up there too. Okay. I mean, I, I think I would... I can see myself playing this... I could see myself playing this uh, way more than um, that... Um, uh, that uh, SpongeBob game, right? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This has, like, my... Uh, Jeff levels of, you know, like, violence and uh, blowing up robots and shit. Like, you know... Sure. The sort of things that I really want out of my video games and less, like, whimsical friend-having... Uh, than the Sam, uh, than the uh, uh, SpongeBob games uh, game had, game even though that seemed like a good, it seemed like a good version of that game. Oh shit! Um, yeah. Just, I like this. I enjoy this more. I enjoy this. Okay. What I'm doing in this game more than in doing in that game. Well, it's a little more straightforward. It's a little more like, hey, kill robots. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Um, you don't have to worry about who yeah. Patrick is and changing to him, and then it's like. Who's that guy? Why does everybody look weird? That's weird. And then the game was over. So, oh, wait, wait, can I not open this yet? Oh, oh, I oh, guess I go. probably could have done that the entire time. Okay. Uh, probably. Okay. fire. I can't. Oh. Oh shit! It's <laughs> close to breaking. Okay. Well, then I'll use the sword. I can oh, use the sword. Weapon decoration. All right. Oh shit! It looks like it. Oh, you've got martial arts. Uh uh, okay, so the, it's like the spear was good for, ooh, oh, oh, that's pretty cool. I, I, yeah, 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 do that too. All right. Game's growing on me. Game's growing on me a little bit. Maybe I'll go back and watch this Samurai Jack show what the kids are all crazy about these days. Uh, uh, okay, statue. Give me some of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's <laughs> oh, those are those are like Greek pottery. <laughs> well, this place exists outside of time, Matt. I sure. Um, I don't know. Uh, you know what? I, I, I I'm really I, I'm really trying, Jeff. I'm trying. I'm trying very hard. <laughs> I don't feel like you should have to try so hard to like this silly video game. Like. No, I know. Uh, I know. I'm just. I. I know. I know. And it's really kind of a silly show too. Like there were some really. There were its emotional moments, but it also was a oh, show that didn't me. take itself that seriously. Whoa, Jesus. Oh, here we go. Oh snap! I just got the Shaolin Master Challenge. Oh shit. Nice. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. I mean, it, uh, like, like from a from a gameplay perspective, from like a game integration perspective, I can't think of a better way to make a Samurai Jack game. Yeah. Because there there was a really shitty Samurai Jack game back when the show first came out, and that was the first thing I thought of when I heard that they were making a new game. But then I remembered, wait a minute, it's it's the 2020s. We can make good video games now. Um, and there was never a bad game again. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I mean, like, I, for me, I, I'd be really interested to know what studio did this because one of the biggest problems that you get into, and it's the reason that I don't like those arena fighter games, is that um, the companies that make licensed games, they don't have to do any work about figuring out, like, how do we make this fun, even when the answer is, like, staring you right, right in the face. Like, uh, you know, just 
so many. I mean, I, I know I keep comparing it to anime, and a lot of that's because um, uh, anime is kind of what I've been like looking at or what I've been watching recently. But you know, there is no reason, there is no reason whatsoever, <laughs> Matt Frank, that you could not have made like a good Blade video game, right? Back in the <laughs> '90s when Blade yeah. was a thing, you, the, what? How he's a guy? He kills vampires for a living. God damn it! Like. You know, you put a bunch of vampires in, and then he's going to have to fight somebody, and they've got their vampire thing, and blah, 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 right? Like, how were we denied, like, good video games based on our favorite action franchises? Why is there not a third-person action John Wick game? Why did it take them 10 years to make an Avengers game? Like, where is the tie-in Superman game for Batman versus Superman Dong of Justice? You know, like... <laughs> I, I mean, think that, yeah, uh, I think that people just, I think that the corporate culture has changed. I think that video games are simply being taken more seriously and they're taking the, they're fine, not all, not all the way, but uh, in some respects, they're taking the needs of the production houses, of the publishers, of the developers rather, more seriously as far as how to make a licensed game. Because it used to be, I guarantee you, it used to be that it was kind of like what we were talking about, where you have like these licensors would say, they would just go to these the publishers and say, and developers and say, hey, um, you can push the make game button and make a game for us that we can sell around Christmas time, right? And then everyone who likes this property will buy it because they'll, they're they're sheep and they'll buy anything, he said, surrounded with thousands of cheap Godzilla toys. Um, <laughs> and he said, having purchased, uh, 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 you know, multiple very, very, very mediocre Godzilla games. Um, and that being, but, but nowadays, I think that because the video game industry has been around long enough, there's just enough clout now for game publishers to be able to say like, hey, if you want us to make this game, we're going to need X amount of time and X amount of money to do it so it won't get ripped apart and destroy our company from the inside out. I, I think mean, that's basically what ha will happen I, in see, a nutshell. I think that a lot of this stuff only happens. I think games like this only happens because, well, I, I for this one, I think that what has happened is that Adult Swim makes video games. Like, Adult mm. Swim has a gaming subdivision, and that if they didn't have a gaming subdivision, like, that this wouldn't have happened, but that they, like, they realized that if you just give... Well, also, uh, Samurai Jack's not an ongoing thing, so franchise rights are a little bit different, but, you know, uh, if, you, if you take it seriously um, and you make a decent enough product, then it'll sell more. Right, because we don't live in the stu like back in the stupid days when it was the <laughs> PS2 and the and the fucking GameCube and shit like that. All right, mm -hmm. up the bow. Uh, then um, you know, like you could rip off somebody by just making a uh, a goddamn um, Star Wars game with a Star Wars title and. Uh, uh, put it out and everybody would be like oh i love star wars i'm gonna tr try star wars racer star wars uh <laughs> super bombad racing uh <laughs> like how many shitty star wars games have there been and why why <laughs> why are there not the, the i mean it's like it's a universe that is tailor goddamn made to for good video games and yet they just keep churning out crap um, and it really Super angers me. Bombard racing man. Uh, uh, um, God, does fucking. Yeah, I. I just, I just think again. I just think the corporate culture has changed. I think that. I just, I think it really is. Games are taken a little more seriously, at least by people who who hold the coin purses. And that, that's that's. That's what I say, and I'm yeah. always right. So, um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but, uh, oh, I can actually I, I, repair I, my stick. I gotta say though, have after having watched this for how long have we been recording? Uh, about forty minutes. Uh, okay, well, having uh, watched this for about the length of an, of an episode, I've I'm now starting to understand exactly what they're going for here, and I'm in my mind starting to cut it a lot more slack. Yeah, uh, it's starting to make like I I'm starting to realize like, oh, okay, this is what they're doing, 
and uh, it's it's really just a series of challenges with a very tenuous story kind of holding it together very very tenuously and it's really just an excuse to play as Samurai Jack and mm. I, I, I I'm starting to I'm starting to understand this a little more now okay okay again so this gets the Matt Frank damning with faint praise seal of approval um <laughs> uh, that's uh, well you know what uh we'll we'll find out because we're gonna check out some more of this game tomorrow My um God. uh yeah because um that's what we're doing because that's the plan <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, you can't stop me because that's my plan. Um, so thanks, everybody, for watching. Hit the like, subscribe button. Let us know what you think of Samurai Jack uh, Battle Through Time down in the comments. Uh, I don't know. We will find out tomorrow whether uh, whether there's more to this. I mean, so far, the... the it, it, okay, so here's what I'm going to say is that there's a, an offhand chance that um, there's a lot of different... Um, slots here for weapons and ranged weapons and upgrades and stuff. Um, if they start, like, if they treat you like a baby, uh, then, like, you know, it probably, it will be what you said, Matt. But I have this sneaking suspicion, potentially, that if they treat you like, you know, if, if the game is challenging and you end up with a lot of different weapons that work on different enemies in different ways and have different upgrade trees, like, you know, there, there's some the bones are here for a complicated a, a complex game especially if they use this out of time place as a way to say like go to an area uh, oh 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 who oh are who are all these guys they're uh, lion boys are they Aussie lions what what's going on I with them I can't remember that character specifically but yeah um pretty like, much if if there's a potential here I feel like oh shit they have guns I should get a gun yep. um to go back to different areas and then have a mechanic where you have to g get like the powers from the the medieval era and then take them to the future era uh in order to open up a thing, kind of a very, uh, uh, a very rudimentary Metroidvania style, mm -hmm. but I don't know. Uh, we, it could be the one. Anyway, yeah, like I said, patreon.com forward slash rage slide. Helps out, yeah. kick us some bucks. Uh, in return, we'll kick you some bonus videos that nobody else gets to see. Also, for five bucks a month, you get access to our Discord server and hang out with all the super chill, awesome people there. Sometimes even Matt Frank uh, also comes there. So I haven't stopped in in a while. I've been meaning to. Uh, it is uh, it is a good little, uh, good little community, though, so I highly recommend it. Yep. And uh, Patreon. So we also have some Amazon guns. Oh, shit. Guns? Oh, right. I love that fucking picture of him with holding the gun. <laughs> Although this guy's just straight up dropped bullets. All right. Give me a gun. Right. Is there a gun in here? Oh, shit. There is a gun in here. There's a revolver. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, equip gun immediately. Um, yeah. Patreon.com forward slash rage. Like Amazon links are down below. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's just straight up. <laughs> uh, that samurai's got a gun now, you guys. Uh, I wouldn't samurai's fuck with that guy. Samurai's got a gun. <laughs> um, oh, let's man. see. Uh, Matt, where can the people find you on the internet? Ooh. Y'all can find me over at... Whoa. Y'all can find me over at mattfrankart.net. I... Um, I was I would uh, recommend going and finding the Gamera box set, but it is apparently completely sold out in the United States, at least. Uh, which uh, I, I have to say on the one hand, that's really awesome. On the other hand, um, it would be nice if uh, the people who had ordered it didn't have to have their uh, orders canceled. Uh -oh. uh, a bunch of yeah, a bunch of people kind of got their orders canceled. So I don't, and I, I uh, that's uh, that's on the U.S. distributor, unfortunately. I don't think that's on Arrow, but. The good news is that there is a standard edition coming, which is going to be all the same content, oh, just uh, without the giant hardcover books that come with it. So, uh. you know, maybe some people will appreciate not having a uh, box set the size of a cereal box. Um, it's a big box set. That just means it's full of, of awesomeness, though, right? Damn right it is. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, you know, I was gonna say, don't worry if it's sold out. Like you can, you guys pimp it out, and then in the future, when people listen to this episode as one of their favorites, uh, then they'll be like, oh yeah, I need to totally go buy that Matt Frank thing. Uh, Hell yeah! And uh, 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 I did check on eBay to see uh, how how what's the markup right now. Uh oh. Uh, it's around three hundred to four hundred each on eBay. <laughs> how much is it normally? Normally, it's like one hundred and twenty. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, it's Jeez, like a, a, over du over uh, half markup or, or double markup or whatever. Anyway, suck uh, on that, Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sold out and shit. I mean, probably not for good reasons, but you know. Uh, Still. Yeah. All right. Anyway, join us back here tomorrow for part two of Samurai Jack through time. We'll find out what happens th then, and I don't know what how to end this. So good, just guy being bye, 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 bye.